Do you know that feeling? You want to play the guitar, but it feels like the guitar is rather playing you. You struggle to make it sound like you imagined. Fear no more. UGEM has the solution. New and improved. Virtual guitarist Iron. Version 2. You get faster, easier ironing. Hey everyone. <clears throat> Today I invite you to a quick tour through UGEM's new virtual guitarist. Iron 2. This new generation of UGEM virtual guitarists features a lot of functionality that people have been asking for. But of course, the most important question is always how it sounds. To demonstrate this, I decided to try something a bit unusual. I took last month's UGEM Brute soundalikes from my fine friend Don Gabriele and shamelessly recorded all his guitars again, but this time with the virtual guitarist. Here's the result of this fun little experiment. So let's take a closer look at the features. I'm not exactly sure how to put this, so let's just say that this new generation of virtual guitarists is, well, a lot more intelligent. This is not a collection of slices that limits you in what parts you can play. This thing can follow voicings and inversions. It will play power chords if you just press a key. It will play fifth only power chords if you add a fifth. Play an octave and it will riff on just the octave. Complex chords, no problem. Play any interval you like and it will play those. Yet while doing all this, Iron 2 is always aware of what's possible on a guitar and what is not. Like in this example of descending intervals, it understands that you can't play an E and a G-sharp in that same range because the E string is already busy playing the E. So the G-sharp will automatically go up one octave. This kind of awareness of what string can play what and which combination makes Iron 2 behave very naturally, no matter what you throw at it. Of course, you have a huge archive of styles. You get all the typical micro-timing settings, humanized swing and field controls. But as with other current UGEM plugins, you now also get drag and drop. These play technique triggers will then follow whatever harmonies you play. This also means that you can now essentially create your own styles, since you have access to all the individual playing techniques. Dead notes, slides, damped notes, half damped notes, open notes. You can get really nerdy with this thing if you want to. But you don't have to. Personally, I prefer to just fiddle with the damping mod wheel like a crazy person. Maybe you're more interested in the sonic abilities. You can double track the guitar, of course. This knob will change timing and attitude, making the guitarist play more chunky and dirty. It's not a DSP effect, but actually influences the samples being played. This knob offers a seamless crossfade between different pickups. This knob influences the tone, much like picking further away from the fretboard. There's five amps with drive and focus tone controls. Or if you do have your own favorite amps, you can have a completely unprocessed DI signal. And then there's the fun finisher pedals. You get a selection of guitar typical stomp boxes that feed into the amps. And you have a post amp finisher section that ranges from sensible guitar mixing all the way to extreme and outlandish effects where you might eventually forget that this was based on the guitar at all. Or use it to generate modern slice guitars. Or mimic a bad mannered guitar player more precisely than ever, like by combining tape delay dive bombs with this fabulous Woodstock mode. For this lovely noise, the plugin doesn't even need any MIDI input anymore. 
As always, there's a demo that runs without restrictions for a month, so just try it out for yourself. And that's Ugems Iron 2. Ugems plugins, I will obey. Ugems plugins, I will obey.